everyone, my name is Marco and welcome once again to the Droid Goblin. In today's new video, I'll be featuring the top 5 exposed modules that currently work on Lollipop, so let us begin. Great, so in my previous video, I covered how to install the exposed framework onto your Android Lollipop device. But now two questions are popping up. Which modules actually work on my Lollipop device and which modules are the best? So in this video, I'll give you my top five exposed modules that currently work on Lollipop. Coming in at number five, we have the status bar download progress by C3C076. Despite the not so original name, what it does is quite original. Basically, it's a thin or thick progress bar located in your notification bar. Although it isn't a physical app, you can modify the settings in a material design like user interface within the exposed framework. From here, you can change where it's located, how thick or what color you want the bar to be, as well as a few other neat extras, such as the ability to show the progress bar from any app that has an ongoing notification. Overall, it's a neat little module that saves you time from having to keep checking how far a download is, and perhaps with some more updates, it does have some potential to become quite useful. Coming in at number four, we have the YouTube Background Playback or YPB by Playa. Why do I use SoundCloud? Well, because YouTube pauses the playback every time I minimize the app. Ah, now the joys of exposed modules. YPB doesn't have any settings or user interface, but why would it? Once you've installed the module and rebooted your phone, you can now listen to YouTube music videos whenever you want. It's still a little buggy as there's some lag between minimizing YouTube and the music to kick in. However, the added music player notification is a really neat touch. Overall, YPB is a very useful app if you like me and can't always find the right music from other sources. In third place, we have Boot Manager by Defim, which is simple and very useful. Opening up the app displays a number of apps that launch when your phone is turned on. Now, I don't know about you, but many of these apps I don't actually need and only use once every few days. So what Boot Manager allows you to do is to easily disable apps from launching on boot. It does come with some extra settings, but overall it's a useful app if you've ever wanted to squeeze out a little bit of extra RAM from your Android device. Coming in at number two, we have the Native Clipboard by DHM47. Honestly, this is such a useful app, more people need to be backing this. Ever wanted to copy two or more things at once, but you find yourself having to keep going back and forth between apps to do the process? Well then this module is for you. Well, sort of. Native Clipboard comes with a neat little app helping you to change a few extra settings. But what exactly does it do? Well, say I want to copy my username and password from one app and then paste it into a website. I simply copy both and whenever I select the clipboard, I have the option to choose from a whole list of previously copied items. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with every app, such as Hangouts, but for the websites, it works like a charm. This combined with its handy app makes the native clipboard one of my most useful modules and I really recommend it. And then taking the top spot is the Lollipop Power Menu by Pyler. Yes, some custom ROMs have this built in, but not everyone has a custom ROM. I gave this module the top spot simply because it's virtually bug free and extremely useful. Honestly, I was so annoyed when I upgraded to Android 5.0 and found that I couldn't easily switch from silent to vibrate or from the normal notification tones to silent, or at least not easily. So this module now lets you choose a variety of features to add onto your beloved power menu. The user interface is neat too, giving you the options to add in airplane mode and even a settings button into the mix. Overall, even though it does have one or two bugs, I found that the Lollipop power menu to be one of my most useful modules so far and I highly recommend it. So thanks very much guys for watching the video. If you have any of your favorite exposed modules that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the Droid Goblin channel if you haven't already. Other than that, it's Marco here from the Joy Goblin channel, and I'll see you next video.